Here we go, back at it again with yet another video. G'day guys, I'm Champ Chong. Today's video is a little more serious, so if you do end up enjoying it, just gently click that like button today. And uh, yeah, so today's video, I originally didn't want to make it because, well, it's a really, really serious topic. But the thing is, it happened in my country, it happened in the city that I live in, just maybe less than 30 minutes away from me, and... It's one of those things that is going to affect the gaming community. It's already affected a family and it's just a really, really touchy subject. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, a streamer by the name of Mr. Dead Moth was live streaming Fortnite last night. And well, his wife or partner, she was uh, cooking dinner. She made him dinner. And then she was asking him to get off the computer to come join the rest of the family for dinner. And it just got really aggressive and they started arguing and he assaulted her live on the stream. So I really don't want to show you guys everything from the stream itself. I'm going to throw up a video really, really quickly. So I'm warning you real quick, if you are sensitive to these kind of images and even the sounds that you will hear in this video, I am just warning you. Um, if you do want to see the whole video and you haven't seen it already, I have linked it in the description down below. It's, it's really hard to watch. So um, uh, here is that video. I said I'll be out soon. Don't listen then. I'll be out soon. I'll be out soon. Go away. Leave me alone. Fuck off, you dog. You don't pay the fucking bills. Get off the game. I will. Leave me alone. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's one of those things that is just, it's a disgusting act. It actually really pisses me off, like, to, to see something like this, to hear that sound, to hear the children crying, because they do have kids. Uh, you can hear them screaming in the background. This is in front of those children. It is just disgusting. Now, as bad as all this is, and it is a terrible thing, there is some good news that has come out of this. Uh, the guy known as Mr. Dead Moth, I believe his name is Luke Monday. Yeah, Luke James Monday. Uh, he has actually been charged with assault and uh, he will be facing court on Thursday. And this is all thanks to the people in the online gaming community, people who saw this live, people who shared it on Twitter, people shared it online everywhere. This got out to the police and instantly he was charged and taken away. Right now, he's actually hunting away at his grandparents' house until the court date, as I said, this Thursday. Now, I'm not going to get too much into the domestic dispute itself. We already pretty much know all that stuff. We, we It's a really, just a really tragic situation that is happening. And it happens around the entire world. There are people like this in situations like this, in relationships like this, that does, it happens all around the world. It happens on a daily basis and it's just sad. But what I will talk about is how the media will be portraying this. We all know, and I, I instantly knew, crap, we've got Fortnite, and one of the biggest games in the world and then and games are already seen as violent and then you're going to get the media just jumping on this and going oh it's violent video games causing violence and we've seen this in the past some of my biggest videos this year some of my biggest videos of all time have been me like breaking down and reporting on what the media reports for Fortnite and how violent it is. And it, it isn't a violent game. It just happens. So some people are violent people that play video games. And the thing is, the news is already on top of this. Um, and there have been some good news reports. I suspected Channel 9, 9 News would actually be one of the first Australian outlets out there to jump on this and really attack it. Surprisingly, I did watch their video on it, their take that was about two minutes long, and it was actually a pretty decent report. They didn't attack Fortnite, they didn't attack Twitch, they didn't attack live streaming or anything in, those, in, in that sense. But um, Channel 7 is the one, the culprit here, who the moment the video starts, you will notice what I'm talking about. So let's take a look at their news report. Good evening, an Oran Park man has been charged after he live streamed the alleged assault of his pregnant partner to an online video gaming site. Other gamers watching the feed heard the woman's screams and contacted police. A warning some viewers may find parts of this report disturbing. In the middle of a kill or be killed video game. Can you not? I said okay. I'll be out soon. Right there, straight up. Like in the middle of a 
kill or be killed video game within three seconds or so of the news report. That's how they lead this story. In the middle of a kill or be killed video game and then they show him actually attacking his wife. So they they do also throw in a few other things in here which I will show you, but uh, why? Why even need to bring that up? Why make it this bad video? It's a, it's a fun game, like sure, you eliminate your opponents, but it's not a kill or be killed video game. Like they're, they're going to jump on this. This is their opportunity and this is why people like this are going to hurt their own families and gaming culture in general. What appears to be real life violence. Stop! No Stop. computer! I'm Stop. Sick of this shit. Stop! Please! I'll be out soon! <laughs> Just stop! Luke James Monday's alleged assault of his pregnant partner streamed live across the internet last night as he played Fortnite. All I asked was for some time for myself. As he played Fortnite. Like, we get it. We understand, but Channel 7, they, they've gone out to attack gaming culture and not a situation, not a domestic d disturbance, not just domestic dispute, not a domestic whatever, you know? You get what I mean? It's just, it's one of those things like, they, they've definitely got a different agenda. It's not just about the actual situation in these people's house. More than 2 million people have now viewed this video. Some of those were watching as it happened and called police after hearing the woman's cries. Allegedly in front of the couple's two young daughters. <laughs> the 26-year-old's computer room now empty after he was arrested and charged with assault. So yeah, as you can see, they've got a bit of an agenda there. They definitely want to jump on board that he is a gamer. They showed off his gaming setup. Gladly, it is now cleared pretty much for the most part. And it is a good thing. This guy shouldn't be streaming Fortnite. He's banned off Twitch. He's banned off Twitter. He's pretty much been suspended everywhere. And that's a great thing. I don't think this guy deserves any sort of promotion in any way. This guy should never ever be able to get an online account for anything. And on top of that, he should never ever be allowed around this woman or these children ever again. Um, because what I've heard, I'm not 100%, conf it has, still hasn't been 100% confirmed, is that the kids might be from a previous relationship that the woman was in, his partner. Um, so I don't think he deserves any right. He shouldn't be around anyone like that. He clearly isn't mentally stable. He shouldn't be in any sort of relationship. The guy, he just isn't there. If he's sitting around for eight hours, 10 hours a day, just playing Fortnite and streaming it, and he's ignoring his family. There was even a clip there where he, he even stated, like, I think he told her in the full video, he goes, uh, you're not the one paying the bills. You're not the one bringing in the money. Like, dude, no, you, you don't act like that around someone. It's a 50-50 thing. You're in a relationship. Like, this guy is a complete scumbag. I wish I owned a cricket bat, but I don't, so I can't do anything, and I wouldn't do anything because that would probably get me in trouble. But this guy deserves a cricket bat to the... I'm not going to say it, but he does. He's a complete scumbag. Also, another clip did surface from a previous stream that he was doing on another day where one of the daughters was saying like, Dada or something like that. And then he just goes, oh, shut up, you filthy. Like the C-bomb, the, the C-U-N-T. So yeah, um, I can't really say much more about this situation. It is quite a serious situation, as I have stated. It's just a disgusting act. Um, I debated whether or not I should make this video, but um, if uh, I do have any female viewers out there or anyone going through anything like this, please reach out to friends, family, or anything like that. You have to. You can't be going through anything like this. It's a, it's a really bad thing for anyone to go through anything like this. F uh, physical abuse is just any sort of abuse is awful. Hopefully the guy does end up getting sent to prison or something like that. Hopefully it's not just a slap on the wrist and some bullshit that Australian courts usually tend to do in these situations because we we as a country are always talking about Australia like violence against women. Australia says no. All this stuff that has been on television in media for decades now, even at the end of these news reports, they tell you to report anything like that. I even just told everyone. 
Um, but it seems that the courts don't really do much in these situations. Hopefully this guy actually goes away for a time. I don't know how long, a year, two years. I don't know how long, but whatever he deserves, he should get it and it shouldn't just be a slap on the wrist. Um, but yeah, uh, I can't even say hopefully you guys enjoy this video, but um, if, if you're doing okay and if you're someone that's in a relationship that isn't being abused, uh, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, just, I don't even know. Like, this is a weird one. Like, I usually stay away from these topics, but um, yeah, it's one of those videos. And uh, hopefully you have a better day than I'm having making this video. I'll see you guys, hopefully, in a much happier next video. Bye-bye.